Oh, hello guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel and welcome. Uh, now, I'll be doing just a quick video about what's in my camera bag, particularly my shoulder bag, because I do have two other bags that I carry with me, you know, for weddings and photo shoots. Those are the roll bags and the backpacks, but this is just for what I carry with mini shoots and like small or other events aside from weddings and photo shoots, okay? Now, this video is not sponsored by anyone, okay? This is just my personal preference and choices for the gears that I've already owned. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so for shoulder bag, I chose the Peak Design Everyday Sling Bag 10L version. Okay, I like it because it doesn't look like a camera bag. So at uh, the bottom, you can attach your tripod, all right? And then at the front, this actually expands if you need more room. Okay, there's a front pocket and I've got my Allen key wrench there from my tripod. But what I like the most on this bag is actually its straps because it does adjust like my straps on my camera. Now, let's see what's inside. I can say that I did benefit from smaller cameras like the uh, mirrorless system, which I'm using right now. You know, I'm able to move, shoot faster, focus more on my clients rather than trying to fiddle the buttons on my camera. Plus, I can do more unique perspective because of the uh, tiltable screen, you know, on the Nikon Z6. So, this is my main body, okay? So, I do have these Peak Design anchor links, which actually attaches to my regular camera straps. I still have my wrist straps here, you know, for just quick access. Now, my other camera body has the same thing, but right now, we're using it to film this video. Or right, for lenses, I prefer to use native Z-mount lenses instead of using the adapter. This is the 85mm 1.8. This is my go-to prime lens for portrait. Now they have almost all five stars in most camera review websites out there and uh, even on YouTube. I like it because it's portable, it's stack sharp. And again, most review says it is better than the typical 85mm, you know, for this DSLRs in general. Now this is primarily mounted on my Z6 for candidates and portraits. This is definitely the new 1.4 for me, even though it is a 1.8. Now what I dislike about this setup is just the hood, okay, because it does add length to the overall uh, lens, but it's not bad at all. Now aside from my 85mm, I also have a 50mm, but right now we're using it to record this video. But otherwise, I always have my 2470 with me for all other types of shoots. Okay, so aside from 85 and 50, I do have a 2470. This is the 2.8 version. I was going to get a 35mm Z mount, but for now I'm keeping that focal length uh, for my DSLR. I settle for this lens so I can use it for travel and everyday use. Aside from my pro use, primarily use this for wider shots at the 50mm, can't handle. It's stack sharp, you know, most reviews also mention it's the sharpest 2470 out there uh, for Nikon and in general. Now, there is this lens button here. I did configure it for quick zoom for focus check, but you can customize it for something else that you like. One thing I dislike is the size because, um, well, not so much because it's still smaller compared to my old Nikon 2470. Otherwise, it's the price. All right, so for flash, my top pick is the Godox V1. So this is for a Nikon. I wish there is a smaller version, or maybe there is now. Um, I like it because it does have a rechargeable battery. Okay, and it just pops out like this. You know, it lasts longer and I don't have to worry about carrying and changing AA batteries with me. I only use this if I know I'm shooting indoors. Okay, or, you know, I bring this in my extra bag, get it in my car just in case. For most photo shoot, I shoot by myself anyway. So in most cases, I shoot in natural light because I feel that I can shoot more spontaneously and continuously with clients, you know, when there's a lot of engagement or movement like walking, running, and it helps me to connect to them more without setting up like another piece of gear and less thing to worry. But I'll use this 20% for a unique and dramatic feel, especially for engagement shoots. And uh, a little pro tip here is you'll notice there's a lot of uh, stickers in my gear. You see my name, okay? So there's my initials and my contact number on there. So just in case I misplace it, or let's say I'm shooting with another photographer that has the same gear, I know which one is mine. All right, and then inside the zipper, this is where I keep my spare batteries. And once I'm used them, I put them on the other side. Uh, so that way I know which ones are used. 
and I've got these cleaning cloth here so clean the lens and also the camera themselves down at the bottom you'll see a spot for an iPad okay so this is where I keep uh, or carry my iPad it does fit up to 13 inch as well but I'm only gonna bring the iPad if I need to add it on the go all right and last but not least I do carry chargers with me one of which is an iPhone charger it's a wireless key charger and you know just put your phone on top of this and it's a portable uh, battery recharger so from that I have my think tank uh, memory card holder okay so it holds both my memory cards and uh, XQD cards so I've got spots for you know empty ones and then once I've used them I put them on the used section all right so that's nice and handy keep everything organized and then aside from that I've got this uh, business card holder holds about uh, 20 business cards I got this from Amazon you know for those uh, people still asking for business cards still carry them with me and finally this is one of my favorite uh, this is actually a strap that I own I used to have the big one or the original one these are now made for mirrorless these are the light version I believe uh, from peak design as well okay so this is um, like this is where you anchor those links okay that I have on the camera and it just snaps on there and that wraps it up guys thanks for your time hope that gave you some idea and inspiration uh, because before I also started at first thinking maybe I should bring this maybe I should bring that just in case but now the other knees are just in my case okay so you know just use what you have right now because I believe the best camera is the camera that you own or have right now okay now I'll post some links below so you can check out the product description and where I got them I'm sure there's a lot of YouTube reviews out there that you can find okay but I'm just starting out here let me know any comments or feedback maybe next time I can do or post a video about um, what's in my camera bag for my roller bag, you know, whenever I use it for weddings, okay? Or maybe just photography tips and tricks in general, okay? Follow me on Instagram, uh, it's Zyron underscore Paul, or my Facebook page, okay? Uh, be sure to uh, subscribe, okay, in my channel. Uh, be safe, and see you next time.